What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad eighty nine here. Yes, Shamrock Shakes. The the smell is in the air. Luck is in the air. It's that time of year. You know what we're gonna do on this channel? We're gonna talk some Leprechaun. This is a franchise that I hold very near, dear, close to my heart. It's a franchise that every time of this year, I always return to it. I've always I've already watched Leprechaun four in space, Leprechaun three, and Leprechaun Returns. I kind of bounced around this year. I just did whatever one I was feeling. I just put it in the disc. So. <laughs> In the DVD player or the Blu-ray. So today, like I said, we're going to discuss actually what I wanted to talk about this year. Some of my favorite kills from this franchise. Yes, Warwick Davis has got to do some of the most amazing kills. And actually, you might see some kills maybe from a non-Warwick Davis Leprechaun performance on here as well. Who knows? You'll be surprised. But like I said, this is my list, just my ranking of some of my favorite kills. That means I would love to hear from you down below. All of you discuss some of your favorite moments in the Leprechaun franchise in the comments. So let's get down to this video. Roll it. Let's get right down to it today. I have five Leprechaun kills that I want to talk about. We're going to get the ranking in right now. And let's start off with number five on this list. And the only reason why this one's at number five, it's probably actually a better kill than some of the other ones that are going to be coming up later. But the only reason this one is number five is because this is actually a beloved character, a character that I really adore in this franchise. And to see him go out like this, it was kind of sad, but I can't deny the fact that it was a really intense Awesome kill, and we're talking about Ozzy from Leprechaun Returns. Yes, Ozzy was one of our returning characters from the first Leprechaun film. They brought him back for Leprechaun Returns, and this is the first film, or no, the second film without Warwick Davis as the Leprechaun. We have Lyndon Porco, or Porcho, I'm sorry if I butchered that last name. He's the performance actor who plays the Leprechaun in this film, and I think he does a slam dunk. Amazing job. So, yes, this kill that he gets to do with Ozzy, where he basically is like, birthed out of Ozzy's chest and comes out and he's like the first really nasty natural kill that he gets when he comes back into this world and everything so yes this one really does stick out like I said the only reason it's sitting here at number five is because I really do adore the character of Ozzy. Rolling in at our number four spot we have another kill from Leprechaun Returns and that's another reason why this one is really high up on my list this is my second favorite Leprechaun film and it's because there's some really good kills in this film and one of like I said it's one of the best Leprechaun movies Meredith's kill in Leprechaun Returns and this one is really good because Meredith is a character that totally deserves what she gets and I like the fact that she gets a really entertaining kind of fun kill where you know Le Leprechaun's like playing kind of doing a symphony like he's a you know doing this and everything and he's sending the sprinkler heads like shooting at her and like they're spraying at her and she's getting hit from all sides and all of a sudden just one just pelts her right in the face and it kind of gives that you know spitting her blood out kind of like so Yes, this one really does stink out, stink, stink out, stick out the sprinkler kill of Meredith in Leprechaun Return. And at our number three spot, we have a kill from Leprechaun 4 in space. A lot of franchises go to space to die, but Leprechaun goes there to thrive. And in Leprechaun 4 in space, we have Kowalski's kill, which is one of the most iconic, one of the best ones, because Kowalski is a Marine. He's on the space station up in space, and he thinks that he's really going to get lucky right now. And there's a girl's hand down in his pants but it's causing some pain and then all of a sudden we find out that there's something else going down on down under and you know leprechaun ends up emerging from a part of the body that you know man wants somebody coming out of so yes this film or this kill is epic for real kowalski really does go out it could be gorier it could be bloodier that's probably why it's not number two or number one if this one had a lot more gore and like just guts in it and everything like explode like that it would probably be a little bit higher up but in terms of comedy factor and like kind of the setup for the kill that's why it's up here it's really good it's a fantastic setup and just you know imagining a leprechaun coming out of some dude's you know penis that's it's kind of fast. Coming in at our number two spot, the runner up to the top dog is going to be Morty's death from Leprechaun 2. Morty, yes, one of our beloved characters. He's a really amazing character in Leprechaun 2. Another really good film in the franchise that I adore watching. Morty's death, the reason it's up here and the reason it's so high is because he kind of really does, uh, very similar to Meredith's character at number four spot, 
gets what he deserves. He's he's a greedy bastard, and he gets what he deserves and stuff. And the fact that Leprechaun has the gold kind of emerging in his stomach, growing in his chest, and you can see the pain on Morty's chest and the practical effects of like the growing stomach, and then Leprechaun just like cuts the gold out of his stomach. Like, oh, it's really cool. Another one that could be a little bit gorier. I could have appreciated more guts, more gore, some more stomach matter going on in there. But the fact that, like I said, Morty is a really beloved character. This one's a little different from Ozzy's. He's a beloved character, but he gets what he deserves because, like I said, he's a greedy, greedy man and, you know, could have he could have made the right wish or could have helped, you know, stall the leprechaun out a little bit more, but he ends up wishing for the leprechaun's gold and, yes, it ends up, you know, getting a little bit too close to his, you know, chest kind of thing, but, yes, this is another amazing, amazing kill in the franchise. Now we have the number one spot, the top dog, and this kill comes from my favorite leprechaun film, and that's Leprechaun 3. Having Warwick Davis's Leprechaun in Vegas is just the perfect setting. This film is comedy gold, and one of our fam one of my favorite characters is Carolyn Williams, who plays Loretta, and Loretta is another character that gets exactly what she deserves, because most of the characters that get killed in the Leprechaun franchise are really greedy. To be honest, like, I would say 70% of the characters that get offed in the Leprechaun franchise are usually characters that get what they deserve, and Loretta is one of those, and the it's kind of fantastic how she gets the whole body, she gets looking all hot and everything, and then... All of a sudden, Warwick Davis decides to blow her up and give her the biggest boobs you could imagine and the biggest butt and her lips. Everything starts to swell up and get swollen. She gets stuck in the door and then she just explodes like crazy. Like, yeah, this kill is another amazing one that I love watching. Like I said, Leprechaun 3 being my favorite. This one is just comedy gold. The cast... The, the writing, everything, this is the one that's right up my alley and like Carolyn Williams' death still stands the test of time and is my favorite because this is the one that I recall the most, like the one that I remembered as a kid the most, being an adult, the one I laugh at the most, it's Loretta's death. So yeah, it stands tall as the crown champion at the number one spot. But like I said in the beginning of this video, this is just my thoughts and my feelings and my ranking on some of my favorite kills within the Leprechaun franchise. That means I want to hear from all of you down below in the comments, but please like this video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and also have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, you all know what's up. Have a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. Peace out.